Uh, as researchers, it's important that we can talk about our research with people. That's why Baylor College of Medicine has made these pins. Ask me about my research. So just put one on and talk about what you do. So today we're here with our daughter Ellie to demonstrate how fun it is to talk about our work. So what kind of research do y'all do? Um, I research tr uh, things related to lung transplantation. I'm very interested in knowing how we can make more lungs available to more patients so that we can save more lives. I do hernia research, so I take care of patients who have hernias, and I like to research how to prevent hernias from happening in the first place. How did you guys decide to do the research that you guys are doing? Well, when I've been involved in transplant surgery, one of the challenges that we realize is that we don't always have a donor available so that we can have an organ for transplant. So we need to figure out how we can transport organs from farther distances and keep them alive so that we can transplant more patients with healthier organs. And for me it came from taking care of patients with hernias because I was seeing how miserable they were and how much it interfered with their life to have a hernia. And so it occurred to me that we really need to find a way to prevent the hernias from happening in the first place. How does your research help people? Well, it helps a lot because we're now able to know how long we can keep an organ outside of the body. Um, so we're able to uh, transplant patients who, for instance, are from Houston, Texas, with a donor that can come from very far away. And we also know that we can study how the organ is doing during transportation so we can make sure we have an awesome organ for that person so that they have a very good outcome after transplant. And for me, in terms of how it helps people is like patients who have surgery are more likely to have hernias. And so I'm trying to work on developing a program they can follow after they have surgery that's safe, keeps them from getting hernias, and gets them back to their normal level of function um, in a good amount of time. So why do you guys do research and surgery? Well, um, surgery has been around for a long time. So since the Middle Ages is a very long time ago people have been able to do surgery. But without research, they haven't been able to understand where, where they can push the field. I agree. I think it's all about making progress in the field. So again, you can do what you do every day and help a few people here and there, but through research you can potentially help everyone with that problem. When you guys are doing surgery, there's only one person doing the surgery or multiple no, people? No, there's a lot of people in the room. So there's several nurses, there's a couple of people from the anesthesia team, and then it's usually the surgeon and an assistant, at least one assistant, um, because you usually need more than two hands for surgery. So you need someone to help hold things or um, provide suctioning, so you always need an assistant. Yeah, we have, when you do cardiothoracic heart and lung surgery, we have a perfusion team, um, so that usually has one or two people, anesthesia team with two people. Um, we have a circulator, we have a scrub tech, we have a first assistant and usually a second assistant, and me. So it ends up being about anywhere from eight to ten people involved uh, in the procedures. So it's the size of a baseball team. And then does the robot help you? Like, because you've mentioned the robot. Yeah, so sometimes I do my surgery open, where I make an incision that's a little bit bigger, and sometimes I do it with a robot, where you make a couple of small incisions, and then there's a robot machine that has arms that you introduce into the patient, and you attach the instruments to those, and then you can control the robot through a little station, right there in the operating room, but you're doing the work through the robot. Did it take you a long time to get to learn how to do the robot, like how to... It did, it required a lot of training. So I had to do a lot of simulation, I had to do a lot of practice, I had to go watch a lot of surgeons um, before I could do it myself. Um, so it does, like anything, take a lot of practice to learn how to use it.